I have more um, that I would use, but I'm gonna go for the, this burnt sienna. It could be like a raw umber, but I'm gonna, I don't look at that. I just figure it must be one of those. I'm gonna go for this burnt sienna. And I'm gonna, I see, I see already all this local color right in my forehead, right on one side of my forehead. I'm looking on this side of my forehead here, okay? It's everywhere, but it's not everywhere, right? Because this is not the shape that I am, right? There's so much more and we're gonna learn that, okay? So I'm just putting it here, but I'm also drawing with it, right? I am drawing with this, this piece everywhere I look. Let me put me the hmm? Everywhere I look, I want to get a comfortable stance. I have a full mirror. I need yellow for a, I'm going to go for a, like a, it's a yellow, but it's not total lemon yellow. Okay. Yeah. Just a little, it's just in certain areas. In fact, I saw this looks like a, 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 a raw sienna or even a yoga, okra yellow. And I'm doing my face the same as I would anything. I'm blocking in color where I see it. I work from the inside out, right? If I need to measure something, there I am. That's the bridge of my nose. See, comes down like that. I'm going to do the top of the nose, be white, and let's do this really bright blue so you can decide, so you can see. Just have a little bit of, how do you say it? You can see a little bit of a definition quite quickly this way. I'm, I'm just using my light blue, right? Because there are no white highlights, right? No, not on anyone's skin. <laughs> and there's no, I use light blue as a highlight. And the darker you are in um, pigment, you'll go from blue to greens. And interesting enough, like, ah, oh, you'd be surprised on lighter pigments. Oh, beautiful lavenders, just all oh, shade the whole skin, depending what side of the window you are in. You know, and as artists, that's what you see. And that's what makes up. Um, does everybody see this? Shall I get a little closer? Okay, now let me just move things around because now you're gonna be in my, uh, in my space. Okay. How's that, is that better? Are you able to see? If you're not able to see, let me know. I'm gonna to have to use the light though, I'm sorry. Just realized that. There we go. Maybe that's nice. I just, just just did. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm back to me. Okay, and it's 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 got some kind of weird overkill. Oh, that's white. We don't want to use white just yet. I'm gonna put that white down. Shake it right down. Um, so there's supposed to be some kind of overcast today. I guess it's going to rain finally in Philadelphia, which is cool, but it has an overcast, you know, so you can't, um, the light is going very quickly. Even though it's like a nice morning, we're going to get this light that looks like I'm doing the edges of my hair up in here where I see this color, just down like that. Right over here, and this is my into my nostril here, I think, right there. Oh, and it does this. Oh, there we go, right into there. Oh, 
Are we sure? Are we sure? Yeah, we're sure. Why not put a mark? Well, okay, so mentally this area in here, believe it or not, it's this ir kind of iridescent lightness there that we'll get to. We'll deal with that. Okay. Oh, and it's got like this. Oh gosh. You know what it's got? It's got, ooh, I like to use orange. Yes, I love to use orange. You know, orange is such a cool color. And so many, so many things, you know. So I just love it like it bounces off and stuff. Mm -hmm. So of course I am using what I see. I'm, you know, all that black and white work that we've been doing that should have, yeah, I think that like, ooh, let's go over to this purple. Um, all that black and white work, I mean, we're ready for color, aren't we? Okay. Ooh, and guess what? We got this weird color, it's like a purple. Shading comes all the way around. Chin. Now you are dealing with very forgiving tools when you're dealing with pastels. Do not worry, okay? You don't need to use black because our paper is black. Isn't that fun? Now we don't have an overuse of black. Am I right? We can just play. Okay, so I want to take my dark blue. I see dark blue. I'm using it for my shadow in here and to my neck. And it is black, so I'm just going to do dark blue in certain areas, and it goes down. And then I got this light highlight in here. It's just a very little bit, but it is here, and it's here. This is my light blue. There, am I. there I am. It's in my lips. Let's do my lips. Okay, your lips should go the end of the nostril, the end of the lip. my lips. Okay, so I'm using something darker. I'm going to go for my dark uh, brown and my black, and I'm going to create a darker hue. It's not going to be as dark as my black. And I don't want it as dark as my black because it's my, you know, my, like the shade, you know, so I don't really want it as dark as my black. Just took a little brown in there. Do it again, maybe a little purple. You want it, you don't, I mean, yes, you can rely on your black, but have fun with it. Go, you know, find, find out where all the, the other, you know, like before you go black, there's all these other colors that you can deal with, you know, and manipulate to give you more insight than the black that you may rely on, you know? Like what if you use green instead of black? With a brown, trying to manipulate it to be dark, but not that dark, right? Maybe it is black. So you make sure that you show that color through. I'll look at my hands. This is what my hands look like. Okay. Excuse me, I'm reaching over you. That's nice. I like that. That looks like a Prussian, Prussian blue. Okay. Okay. 
Do I want to make smudge? No, I don't. I'm not really interested in smudging things okay. away. But I see green here. So I have to get it away. I'll smudge it away, you know? Because it's oil. I'm not going to use my kneaded eraser for this job. Okay. The other eye. So you want to take the highlights and try to highlight around the dark using the dark, your darkest dark if you can. that with maybe this really nice book there. Yeah. I mean is in here. Trying to lighten it without going white. It's almost like a light green highlight. This pink, it's not really pink pink, it's like almost a reddish pink. Where that whole bottom of the berry is. Yeah, this is not pink pink too. Let me see, let me see. I'll use my white to, hmm, I don't want to. I'm gonna use yellow. I'm following the light. It's like I'm sculpting it. I'm trying to see it in every dimension. Power there. Almost, oh, okay. The light on me is hard. I mean, I have it very close. It's kind of dramatic. Really, I feel like that's pink, but I'm just gonna get it in with this yellow. Use it like a base, go over it. Let's go. It feels up in here. In here. Give me something obvious.
Are we all following? Any questions? Any questions? Here is the screen that I have to grab, guys. Excuse me, the screen in here. Yeah, that's it. Because it looks dark, but it's not. And it's in here. And it's here. If you can feel the reflection against the other colors. And it's in here. Oh, it's all here. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. It's darker, but it's there. Yeah. Here. Follows it in here. Under here. It's shadow, but give it a little, give it a little. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put that green down. Put it down. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my local colors in certain areas. A little lighter to my blues. I am touching the lid of this eye. I'm touching all that I see in lightness right now. Going down. I didn't abandon anything. I'll, I'll come back to everything. Okay. The way you would do textured hair and curly hair um, or tech, you know, like, a, you know, anything that has a texture that, I mean, nothing's poker straight, but see, nothing is, is definite in anything. But anyway, you would just, you would, you would, you want to get all the color in and all that other stuff are details for later. You know, they're just little details. They're just little hints of things like making a mark like a, like a squiggly line or, or like almost like you're writing hieroglyphics. I mean, that's what that is. They're just little touches. You don't want to get into the details right away. You don't want to, you don't want to do that. Um, I would go in, in patches and find the, the figure, find the, the self, you know, get into that and then deal with um, finding, you know, the details and the work later.
it will come. The details are like the icing on the cake. That's fun stuff, you know? It doesn't even take that long to do it. In fact, you don't ever want to overdo it. Even if you were doing line, you know, just all line. And you decided, I want to do all line in this image. And, you know, that's where I want to get it. Go with it. Well, you're definitely, you know, allowed to do that. But I wouldn't, um, you know, get all, you know, like a little, you know, that's details are a little stressful. Or if you're going to start off from front, from the beginning, because where do you go from there? Kind of hard because this is so thick, but I just treat it like as if it was a paintbrush, right? Let me just go in here. And if you want to use the darkness of the color, just accentuate around of the paper, just accentuate around it. You know, defining what you want to be seen. Like I probably won't mess around with the darks in here to say where the pupils are. May give a little hint to some things, but. I'm going to definitely use the, the black in that, you know, because my eyes are so dark. I may add a little bit of brown to it just to like pull it off a bit. Or, let's see. Let me just grab this in, this light in here. I try to find my my eye better. I may have to use a little black just to get back in here. You know, just to bring it back in, just a little around the eye. I didn't want to because it's so uh, definite, you know, but we have a black background. So let's see what we do. Just wanted to give a little bit more detail to the eye. That lid that I'm working with. Just gonna bring it out, bring it back out. 